This is the movie review of The Killers of the Flower Moon. This, this film was a hard watch because of how shocking it was and also at the length at three and a half hours, but I, I couldn't turn away. I saw two people leave and they didn't come back, it, probably because the movie was too much. Heard some people yawning three hours in, but I, I was captivated by it. Hours after watching it, I was even thinking about it. And most movies don't do that because they're too predictable, which this film wasn't. I haven't seen Oppenheimer, but this will challenge it for Picture of the Year, Director of the Year, Best Supporting Actress, and Best Actor. Basically, the movie is about, in the 1920s, the Osage Natives inheriting land rights to oil-rich lands in Fairfax, Oklahoma, and then European Americans killing them off in order to take over the rights. As someone who grew up in Oklahoma, I don't even ever remember hearing about this, the or the race riots in uh, Tulsa was another story that was kind of hidden. It seems that until works of art exposed it, this definitely isn't a first date type of movie. Is both people probably come out thinking, "What the fuck? Like, how could somebody do something like this?" And it it really shows. How, how the earlier generations of white settlers, they didn't view natives as humans. They didn't have any regret on killing them. It also shows how corrupt, rich people use criminal elements for their gain and then dispose of them, and how, how they seem to be above the law. I give this film five out of five stars. I heard someone describe this as a horror film, and it's very fitting that it, it comes out around Halloween.